A tent? Somewhere in the Himalayas. Well, good night, Hickory. We've got a big day of climbing tomorrow. Yes, yes, very true, Dickory. Uh, perhaps next expedition we should bring two sleeping bags. Splendid idea, Hickory. Mm, I'm so tired, my feet have fallen asleep. Ah, Dickory, I think you'll find us frostbite. Aha, uh -huh, so that explains where my toes went. Oh, yes, yes, doing a tough. No supplies, crippled by frostbite. What more could you want? Excuse me, I must be those beans I finished three days ago. Say, Dickory, sounded like some wild beast. Splendid. Company. Uh, Hickory, let's invite it in for a port. Ah! Oh, Lord, you need a shave, old chap. Say, I don't think there's room in the sleeping bag for three. Ah! Hickory, where's your head gone? Oh, please, sir, uh, let go of my legs. Ah! Well, that takes care of the frostbite. Ah! Ah! Day, a plane flying over the Himalayas. Oh, lovely view. Smolder, why are we flying over to bed? We, we didn't even get a briefing. Smolder, Smolder, say something. Sulky, pass me the sick bag. Hello, agents. Can I get you anything? Assistant Director, great disguise, sir. Are you here to give us our briefing? Not really. I just love wearing this hostess outfit. The skirts are so snug. Oh, sick bag, Sulky, give me your purse. There are reports of a wild beast having killed dozens of people in this area. Now, excuse me, I have to give a massage in first class. Boy, we're flying close to those mountains. Oh, my God. Smolder, we're heading straight towards that cliff. Where's my sick bag? You won't be me. Are bouncing at a crash course in flying. I think we might be. What's the assistant director up to in first class? The thighs. Book your seat for the next turbulent episode of the Expo. Yesterday, Smolder and Sulky were on their way to investigate strange killings in Tibet when their plane began plummeting towards a mountain. A plane plummeting towards a mountain. Good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain speaking. We're all about to die. Oh, Smolder, did you hear that? We're going to be killed. Sulky, that's nothing. I think I'm going to be sick. Smolder, I just want you to know that if you weren't about to barf, I'd kiss you. Deep down, I... Well, you I... want to kiss me deep down? Where? No, Smolder. You and I. Deep down, I... Uh, 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 uh. Moments later. Oh, what happened? Oh, God, all my brains are lying in the snow. Smolder, that's where you threw up. Oh, yeah. Hey, I feel much better. The pilot swerved the plane at the last second. We crashed, but everyone survived. Wow, where did you find all that out? The script? The little black box. All right, stay calm, everyone. This is head steward of Skinhead speaking. I almost forgot the assistant director was on the fly. Please note the captain has switched off the no smoking signs and the emergency exits are now completely non-existent. Assistant director, I can see a monastery on the next summit. I could get there by nightfall. If I take smolder, maybe Thursday week. All right, you two go. But if you don't make it, the rest of us will have to eat each other. Sophie, we miss out on all the fun. Thursday week. Sulky, what were you going to say to me on the plane? Later, Smolder. I can see the monastery up ahead. Come on! Okay, Sulky, there's no need to growl. Sulky? Sulky? What's that growling in the snow? Sorry, Sulky. Maybe it's that airline food. Will somebody end up eating the assistant director? Promises, promises. Defrost your frozen dinners for tomorrow's course of the Expo. Last Expo, the agents were searching for help after their plane crashed in the Himalayas when... Sulky, is that you? The snow's so heavy I can't... You're really stacking on the kilos. You know, it's not just the top lip that's a little hairy. Oh, Sophie, I always knew you wanted to... Shut off my air supply! Smolder! Sophie, don't say anything. Oh, that scratcher. Smolder, I stuck you! Can't see his name at all! It must be love. I'm hearing fireworks. That. Sophie, why'd you let go of me? Was it what I did with my tongue? Smolder, some kind of wild animal like I'd never seen before. Well, Sophie, I have been practicing. Eventually. Oh, oh. oh. oh we made it to the 
monastery. Greetings. Sir, our plane crashed. The other passengers are stranded in the snow. We've just been attacked by some hideous beast. You have to help us. So sorry, a Tibetan public holiday. Hey, buddy, I'm freezing my ass off out here. How'd you like to end up in the Tibetan Book of the Dead? Uh, uh, please, come in. Lady, just chill out. I have been. My name is Karma Lama. Welcome to our temple. We are affiliated with the Holiday Inn chain and accept all major credit cards. Mr. Lama, there's some kind of bear out there responsible for the deaths in this area. Oh, yes. That was our pet, Yeti. <gasps> Until he went a little wild. Yeti? You mean... That's right, baby. He's the abominable snowman. Oh, I don't know. I thought he had nice lips. Can all heroes catch the Yeti? Not Yeti. Do Tibetan monasteries really take all major credit cards? Yo, Betty. Hang on to your snowballs for tomorrow's abominable installment of The Expo. Last episode, Smolder and Sulky were stranded in the Tibetan Alps, only to discover the abominable snowman was on the loose. A Tibetan monastery, Tibet. Five minutes to prayer time. Smolder, are you decent? Sure, come in, Sulky. I thought you said you were decent. I am. Aren't these long johns becoming? Smolder, they're becoming undone. I can see your hot water bottle. That's not my hot... Stop. Did the Tibetan monk chopper squad rescue Skinhead and the others? Yes, so hurry up. The assistant director wants that bear tracked down before it kills again. Sulky, it's not a bear. Evidence indicates we are dealing with the Yeti. Smolder, I, I, I find the existence of the abominable snowman a little hard to swallow. Sulky, you've been haunted by ghosts, abducted by aliens, and attacked by mutants. How can you possibly be skeptical? Oh, yeah, I never thought of that. Moments later, outside the monastery. All right, now listen up. Everyone break up into groups of eight. Assistant Director, there's only the three of us. Good point, Agent. All right, you two, come with me. Sir, aren't those fishnets giving you goosebumps? Not goosebumps, no. Quick, over there! Oh, no, it's Karma Lama, the monk from the monastery. He's being decapitated. Well, he was head monk. Sir, something's behind you. A piece. Ow! Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! Can Skinhead escape the clutches of the abominable snowman? Do I want to escape the clutches of the abominable snowman? Are Smolder and Sulky equipped to rescue him? Sulky, I think my water bottle's leaking. Hang on tight uh -huh. for tomorrow's chilling climax of the Expo. Yesterday, the agents were searching for the abominable snowman when it attacked Assistant Director Skinhead. The Tibetan Alps, 30 below zero. Ooh, anyone got a spare blanket? Oh, it's holding me so tight. Agents, quickly, in my backpack. Sir, it will never fit. What's in there, sir? A gun? No, my car. I want this guy to look me up in Washington. Sir, oh, my gun is frozen solid. Right, we could beat him with a stick. Good idea, but can you do me first? Assistant Director. Sulky, they've gone. Smolder, it's so cold. This overcoat's not enough. Sulky, we have to find them. Let's hug each other and share our body heat. Smolder, I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Smolder. Sorry to disappoint you, Sulky. That's my flashlight. Oh. One hour later. Just a poncho, overcoat, anything. Oh. Smolder, you sure that's your flashlight? No, I lied. Sulky, the other day as our plane was about to crash, you said something about wanting to kiss me. Yes. I've been wanting to talk to you about... There they are! Sorry, Smolder, it'll have to wait till a later episode. That's it. Y-M-C-A. Assistant Director! Agents, no, we were just getting to the finale! Smolder, it's going to attack again! Quick, throw snowballs at it! It's retreating! It's backing away towards that... Sulky, that's no way to talk about... Oh. Well done, agents. He's dead. I'll miss him, though. He sure could swing those hips. Is the abominable snowman really dead at the bottom of that pit? No. Did he and Skinhead have a future together? We were planning to move to Florida. Be here next week for another hair-raising tale. I like him, Harry. Of the Expo.